Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Cammy is off tonight. A conditional sentence of at least six months in jail. That's the punishment handed down in Shano County Court today against Samuel Armstrong. 18 year old was convicted of throwing a barrel of fuel onto a bonfire during a backyard party in the town of Maple Grove in October of 2022. More than a dozen people were hurt, some of them seriously burned. Brittany Schmidt was in the courtroom for today's sentencing hearing. She joins us now live with a first alert update. Brittany. Bill, certainly a tough and emotional day for all of those involved in this incident. Victims and their families detailing the pain and suffering they've endured over the past several months at the hands of Armstrong and his actions. While accountability is top of mind, so too is forgiveness for all of, from all of the victims that talk today in court. Some victims suffer second and third degree burns and spent months in the hospital undergoing several surgeries with more on the way. For the first time today, we got a glimpse into the aftermath of the bonfire explosion. The prosecution pointing out the intensity and recklessness of Armstrong's actions. The explosion ring spans several feet. Lawn chairs are melted, even highlighting some of the clothes of victims. The trauma the victims and their families lived through will stay with them for the rest of their lives. Benjamin Van Assen's mother explains it like this after her son had burns on 55% of his body. The daily screams coming from him because of the pain is something that we will have in our heads for the rest of our lives. When Benjamin came home, we became his nurses. You weren't there for those bandage changes that we had to do at home. The nightly screams from those bandage changes almost tore my family apart. We felt we were torturing him nightly when we were trying to help him. The judge reviewed several documents in this case, including about 10 character statements in support of Armstrong. Armstrong's mother, Kathy, writes, quote, Our hearts are full of sadness over what happened. We know that Sam didn't intend to harm his friends and classmates, yet his actions resulted in a horrific accident that caused so much pain to so many people, end quote. She goes on to talk about Armstrong's character and how she is proud of him for how he has handled himself from the moment this happened. She says Sam has not run away. He has been honest since day one. Armstrong's mother is referring to an interview just a few days after the incident that Armstrong had with police where she says he took full responsibility for his actions. And the judge did note that during the sentencing today. Sam did not address the court himself, but his attorney did read a note of apology. He has to report to jail on May 30th by 8 p.m. Reporting live in Shawano, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.